Welcome to the end of the world, my friend. Welcome to the Death Valley. And for the last thousand years or so, this has been the land of the Panama and Shoshones, and year-round this is the hottest place on Earth. Needless to say, it hardly ever rains here. Life's hard to spot in a desert like this. Some say even the devil avoids this life-defined place. So, you wonder, my friend, about how Death Valley got its name? Well, the year is 1849 and the country is amidst the Great Gold Rush. In October of that year, a trek of a hundred some wagons with settlers leaves Salt Lake City. These days, they don't know that they will later be called the Lost 49ers. So, they decide to take a shortcut along an old Spanish trail. The ancient trail should save them hundreds of miles. At least, they thought. But instead, the trek gets lost and stuck in an uncharted, unknown stretch of land. Some of the pioneers stray and turn back. But a group of twenty-some brave wagons carries on towards the west. On Christmas Eve of 1849, they are now in the midst of a great valley surrounded by the towering Panamint Mountains. They are hungry, thirsty, their wagons are battered, their oxen are weak. So they slaughter some of their oxen just to stay alive. Lost in an ocean of dryness, they send two men to find a way out of this doomed and hostile land. They wait for the scouts to return, but days became weeks, weeks became months. Finally, the two brave men get back to the trek and together they find a way out of the valley. Despite their fierce ordeal, only one man of the trek had died. It is said that a woman, upon leaving the valley, turned back and whispered, Goodbye, Death Valley. So my friend, that's the story of how the Death Valley got its name.